I've grown up with my mom and dad, and we've grown up in Nagulu. That's the slum area around the place. By the time we reached a moment, mom and dad separated. My dad abandoned me from paying school fees. My auntie brought me back to Kampala. Then she told me, instead of getting like more of a street kid, she took me to Ogogo. By that time when I went to Ogogo, I used to be a ball boy of tennis. Every kind of like money I could go get from being a ball boy, I used to keep that money safe, take it to home every time, and it would be as my school fees. On my process of being at school, I used to just come watch hockey. I met Innocent. So he told me, let's go play hockey. And he's my coach for hockey because he's the guy who told me it was uh, 2008. It was my first time to touch a stick. We had only like six sticks, only six, because my first stick also, I got it off from those guys. When I got that stick, we went with six sticks. We started with kids, young kids there. So we went again back to Rogogo to schedule. We started moving to streets in slum areas, calling the kids, making it calm. So kids started coming, we started getting big numbers. We enjoyed. What motivated me to coach, it's one thing. I just feel like always I need to deliver, like to give out what I do you now in my head, like my skills, what I have. Though sometimes in hockey, sometimes in other things, like to these kids, I told them, you guys, if you want to learn uh, hand things, you can come to me always. Like I know how to do plumbing, I know how to do metal work, welding. Uh, I, I try out cycling, doing uh, with a tourism company sometimes. So I always call them like, don't think being a thief or stealing, sitting at home. I think the environment I grew from, like I slept into a trench without home. I've been two days without eating food. So I really feel bad like to find these same kids whenever I find these kids. I, I don't want to see letting them also pass through the same way I really passed as me. Because I think that's not their future. If you try to, like, to motivate others not to, to come out of such an environment, I think that motivates me more, more, more and more to be a coach. I see myself in future having, I think, like a workshop for earning money when I'm not at the field. And I, I think seeing my future being a hockey player of Uganda national team fully and to lastly to be, to be a coach. I want to be a big coach and one day, one time to coach the national team of Uganda. Yeah. I'm Lawrence Kakande, coach for Hockey Dreams Foundation. <laughs>